Hello, this is Sebastian from Native Instruments. In this video, we show you how to export audio from one machine a sound slot to another by drag and drop. This method allows you to save CPU power by reducing the amount of instruments and effects plugins loaded and by using audio files instead, as they consume much less CPU power. Please note that what we are showing you is an advanced technique to spare CPU power. It assumes that you have already optimized your audio settings in Machina and tuned your computer for real-time audio processing. If you haven't done so already, please read our tuning tips for Mac and for Windows linked in the related articles below this video. For background knowledge on why this technique is useful, please also read the Managing Computer Performance in Machina 2 article, also linked below. As we will be exporting audio, we first need to adjust the audio export settings. In the Machina menu, choose File, Export Audio. In the Export Ideas as Audio dialog, make sure the Loop Optimized setting is checked. This will adjust the exported audio to the length of the loop that is currently playing back in the sound slot you want to export. Here you can also adjust other settings of the audio you want to export, like the sample rate and the file type that will be created. For performance reasons, we recommend to use here the same sample rate as the one you have set in Machina's audio preferences. Once you are happy with your settings, choose Close. Now, load a preset from the instrument section of the browser to a sound slot. Here we load a sound from Monarch called Acid Burn and add some effects to it until we are satisfied with the sound we have. Note that the plugin chain we have built is pretty heavy in terms of CPU consumption. Now we create a pattern with that sound. Once you are satisfied with the loop that is playing, select the sound slot you want to export the audio to. Since we want the audio to play back as a loop, we load the audio plugin to the sound slot by pressing the plus icon and choosing internal audio. Now choose the sound slot containing the pattern you just created. Please note that if you want to export only one sound which is playing along other ones in a group, you need to select keyboard view. If you want to export all the sounds playing in the group at once, you need to select group view. Here our sound is the only one in the group, so it doesn't matter which view we have selected. Press the audio dragger icon, holding down the mouse button, until the audio material is exported. Keep holding down the button and drag the pattern to the sound slot where you loaded the audio plugin. If you now press play, you will hear the audio loop plays back in sync. You can now deactivate or delete the plugins loaded in the original sound slot in order to save CPU power. The audio loop plays the same sound as the one generated by the plugins, but uses much less CPU. If you want to export an entire kit, you need to have the group view selected. This way, the whole group's output will be captured as audio when using the audio dragger. First, create an empty group in your project. Then, select the group which has the kit loaded. Press and hold the audio dragger icon until the audio has been exported. Keep holding down the mouse button and drag the pattern to the new group. The exported audio will be loaded on the first available sound slot on the new group. Finally, switch the sound's plugin from sampler to audio for it to be played back as a loop and deactivate or delete the original group to relieve your CPU. When you now press play, the entire kit will play just as it did before, but with less load on your CPU, allowing you to work with more plugins required to finish your song. 